Hi boys and girls, it's me, Mrs. Ashley, and I'm so glad that you're joining myself and my daughter Lily for another crafting time. Today, we're gonna show you how to make some coffee filter flowers as a super easy, super simple, but super special gift for your mom because today's not an average normal Sunday. It's also Mother's Day, but we don't get to, we don't get to be together um, to make a present for your mom. So we're gonna show you how to make one at home. And today our lesson is gonna be coming from the book of Matthew, from a section called the Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus is talking to so many people. People like kids, moms, dads, grandmas, and grandpas who all came to hear Jesus because they just wanted to hear what he had to say. But before we get to what Jesus had to say, we're gonna show you how to make our craft. So for our craft, you just need some coffee filters, some washable markers, pipe cleaners, and a spray bottle. And what we're gonna do on our coffee filters is we're going to color them. We can color them any way we want. Lily, how are you gonna color yours? I'm gonna put a bunch of school glue paint and shapes on it. All right, I'm gonna color lines on mine. You can go ahead and get started. Um, you could color it any way you wanted. You could put big polka dots. You could put a rainbow. You could go around and around in circles. You could color it any way you want. And it's okay if you leave some space because we're going to get this wet in a little while to help the colors run. So, Lily, while we're coloring, let's talk about what Jesus has to say in the Sermon on the Mount, and he's talking on, in chapter 6 of Matthew in a section call about do not worry. So he says, look at the birds that are flying. Look at them. They have everything they need. They have food to eat and they have shelter, not because of what they do, but because God provides for them. And then look at the lilies of the field, the flowers that are growing. They are more beautiful than King Solomon. And King Solomon was the most handsome, most well-dressed king of the Old Testament that there ever was. And Jesus said, those flowers are even more beautiful than he was. And they get chopped up, they get thrown out, they get cut down every day. Can you believe that, Lily? So those lilies of the field, they don't have to worry because they were made and by God and they are grown by God and God creates them more beautiful than anything. So Jesus says, why do you worry about what you are going to wear, what you're going to eat, what's going to happen the next day? Because God is going to provi provide for you everything that you are going to need. Speaking of need, we're going to need at least two of our coffee filters colored for our project. Now I've got one done, Lily, you've got one done, and we already have some that we've made, so we're gonna show you the next step in this project. And it's just taking your squirt bottle, your spray bottle, and you're gonna spray down your colored coffee filter. And we have ours on a baking sheet so the colors don't run through to the counter. And our trick is to spray it once and give it five to 10 seconds. And then we're gonna spray it again to really help those colors spread out. And once you've got it sprayed, you're gonna pick it up and you're just gonna put it down on a piece of paper towel. We already had some laying out and you're gonna let it dry on there for about 20 minutes, maybe 10 if you're in a real dry area, and then you can pick it up and let it air dry somewhere else. Now, Lily, we already have some done, so go ahead and get your dry ones. And the, we're gonna make flowers like the lilies of the field, and the easiest and most simple way to do this is to make a hole in one of your hands 
and place the coffee filters on top and take your pointer finger and push down right in the middle. And you can kind of fluff it out and you're gonna twist the bottom. And then you're gonna take one of your pipe cleaners and you're just gonna put it around the bottom so that when you have, give it to your mom or your aunt or your grandma or maybe a special lady from church who's taught you a lot about God or is very nice to you, they have something that they can either put in a vase or they could tie it on their purse or put it somewhere where they could see it every single day as a reminder to them that God is in control, God is there for them, and they're, they have got someone special who loves them and that they need to not worry about tomorrow, about what they're gonna eat or drink, or about their kids and what they're gonna have for breakfast or what their next Zoom meeting is or how they're gonna get through their week with everything that they have to do, that God is there for them. Because Jesus says, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow has enough worry on its own. So Lily, I think you did a wonderful job on making your flower. I love how colorful it is. And I cannot wait to make some more of these at home. And I hope that you are having a fun time making them at home with your family too. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you next week. We're going to close with prayer. Ready, Lil? Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for our moms and all the special ladies in our lives that you've put there for us to show us how to be. Thank you for them being an example in our lives every day. Thank you for our moms to show us not to worry, even though sometimes they do worry. Thank you for controlling their anxiety and their fear. Thank you for our lives with them. We ask that you be with our moms and all of the ladies in our lives. Help them to remember that you are in control even when they're sad or scared or worried. Help them to know that we love them and we want to share God with them and we love that they share God with us. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Mother's Day.